Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Lamar F8 Series Deck Over Straight Deck. We've carried this model quite a while in different configurations with flip over ramps, stand up ramps, full width gates, and so forth. We're now also stocking it in the straight deck configuration. Shown here is a 102 by 24, 14,000 pound. It's got eight foot ramps that slide in from the rear. We're also stocking this unit in a 20 foot, 14,000 pound as well. Unit can also be derated from the 14,000. Let's take a walk around this unit. We'll show you all the features. First and foremost, this is a tag trailer or a bumper pull. It's also available in a gooseneck model. Starting out up front, it's got a six hole adjustable coupler. Notice it is a uh, cast coupler. It's got the new style Demco Easy Latch that's an auto latching coupler as you put the weight down on it. It's got a uh, heavy duty front uh, nose plate coupler, certainly nicer than most of what we offer and most of what we've seen in the industry. It's got the jack up front, which is another uh, feature that we really like instead of back in the A-frame. It does a few things. One, it makes the jack a whole lot more easily accessible as opposed to ones back here. Not so much fun. You gotta crawl down on your knees to get underneath or uh, kind of bend over in a fairly uncomfortable position to, uh, to get it. So certainly like the jack placement up front, that also opens it up back here for a spare tire mount. So a nice spot for a spare tire. Also in the A-frame would be a mesh chain tray. That is a standard feature. Also notice this unit comes equipped standard with a sealed harness that's also blue, which would stand for the cold weather harness. Of course, it's got all the standard features, your breakaway uh, cable, your safety chains, and whatnot. If you've never had a 12K jack before, these are nice because there's grease zerts for serviceability on them. And also you don't have to carry around wood blocks. You've got uh, extension via the handle and then also if you need additional, you can do that via the jack. You may not be able to notice because it's a kind of cloudy day, but this one's got the charcoal powder coat instead of black. Gives it a nice look that's different than most in the marketplace. Now we equip the charcoal powder coat units with the black wheels. So this one's gonna have a black mod wheel standard on it. Now this being a 14,000 pound, it's gonna have a 235-80 R16 10-ply radial tire. That would be a load range E. Uh, on these, they use a provider tire. Provider, nice tire, gives you a decent amount of tread depth. Uh, these are Dexter brand axles. Uh, seen here is the slipper spring suspension. One thing a lot of slippers don't have would be the greaser in the middle there. That allows for some extra serviceability on the moving parts. Uh, also, this unit with the Dexter axles is going to have the forward or never adjust brakes. Uh, the brake drum self adjusts, so you never need to, in the life of the brakes, uh, service them or shouldn't need to anyway. They are still serviceable the old school way. Also, behind the black cap there would be a grease zert, what they would call an easy lube hub. A homeowner with uh, basic hand tools can service their own bearings on the trailer. Lamar also uses uh, 9 16 inch studs on these as opposed to the industry standard half inch. So they get a little bit heavier all the way around uh, on this particular unit. Some of those other additional features they put on that aren't always standard would be the pipe spool or chain spool that's between the stake pockets. So a lot of manufacturers on a trailer like this are going to have a rub rail for tie downs, stake pockets to give the rub rail some support. But a lot of times you don't see the pipe or chain spools. They not only protect that rub rail from impact, they also give you additional uh, ways to tie down. Also, the side rail on this is a structural channel. Some in the industry are gonna use a flat steel or an angle. That's a structural channel side rail. Main beam on this is an I-beam, not a channel. I-beam, of course, can be a little bit heavier. And this has a 16 inch on center structural channel floor cross member. Some in the industry on these will use a 24. Also notice the support going across side to side there. It's not always seen on these units. So 16 on center floor. And then it's got a six inch channel support going across. Now it is a sealed wiring harness front to back. You also notice the low pro fender wells instead of being wood all the way back, uh, gets you down a little bit lower to the ground uh, with the tread plate. Not sure of the exact gauge on that. I believe, 
believe on that you might be 3 16th of an inch, but that's of course going to be a lot thinner than your one and a half inch wood, so it allows you to get a little bit lower deck height. Ramps on these are rear pull out. Uh, they do put a few extra lights on these. You're only required to have uh, one stop turn tail and then your three markers. On this, they put an extra marker and an extra stop turn tail on the trailer. Ramps are hook style, hook onto the bar. They've got a container at the back. Your ramps on these are a channel style ramp with your angle iron runners. They are an eight foot ramp, so they give you plenty of length. Deck on these are two by eight, pressure treated. This unit is equipped with a charcoal gray powder coat. Powder coating is standard on these. Unit like this is gonna weigh in at about 4,000 pounds. Gonna give you a net legal payload just under 10. You're about 99.50. And you're also gonna pick up some tongue weight. Tongue weight's carried by the truck side. Uh, truck side tongue weight generally is gonna average out to about 15%. 10% is normally a nice conservative number you can go with. 10% uh, would put you at about 1,400. That'd put your net payload just over 11,000 pounds. Uh, you can also get this with additional jacks. Uh, very seldom, but once in a blue moon, we'll put uh, dual jacks on. Downside meaning you'd have to crawl over the coupler every time and use two. Uh, this one 12K jack tends to be more than enough for what the average customer is using this particular unit for. It is a 12K rated jack. Tongue weight, as mentioned, is about 15% or 2,000 pounds, so it's more than capable of doing the job. Again, this is the F8 model trailer. It is also available in the Gooseneck, which we'd refer to as the GF8. Uh, we do not currently stock the Gooseneck model, but if that's something you're interested in, give us a ring. Something we may start stocking down the line. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.